Thanks again for joining me in this Excel VBA for Professionals journey. My name is Alex Louis. Today what I want to show you is the AND operator, which is a logical operator, and how it behaves. Let's take a look at how it works and how you write it in code. And I'm going to teach you a couple tricks here, aside from printing to output, printing out to the debug window. So let's get started. So what I've done here is I've created two two variables one called result one called result two which is really bad naming in my case so I would just say be in op one BLN op two and I'm going to declare a result variable which is where I would save my result from the and operator so the end operator has two operands a left and a right. The left and right operand could be a variable, could be a literal, uh, it could be actually another expression. But for now we'll just use two variables, set, the val set their values, and then see how it behaves. This first most important is to know what the results will be of an AND operator. Now the AND operator will only return true when both left and right operands are true. Remember that the AND operator will return true only when the left and right operand are true. So let's take a look. If I do op1 and BLN op2, and we can say BLN op1 is equal to true, BLN op2 is also equal to true debug.print result okay this is what we call the left operand and this is what we call the right operand in this particular expression I've assigned them to be true and when you do an and again remember what I said it's only true when both left and right are true. So in this particular case, left and right are true. So if we play this, well actually let's go to view, we'll go to the immediate window, and then we play this. We're gonna see, we're gonna run the test macro, and that's right, that's true. If I set the left operand, meaning BLN up one, to false, then this, this expression will be false. So if I run this, see that on the bottom, became false. Okay, now the, don't, don't pay attention to these. These are just the previous tries that I've done before. Got to prepare for these videos, so I had to make sure I test the code. <laughs> okay, now, again, it doesn't really matter which side it's false on. So if I do true here, and this is false this makes this false so if I do run see that then it's false again the only time when this expression will be true is when both left and right operand are true now remember I told you that these operands could be a variable it could also be a literal so I can also do true like that so true and whatever value of op2 is false will still give you false. So that's a literal and that's allowed. So if I do that, it's good, false, right? But I could also have a expression here. So I can say that one greater than zero. Now if I say one greater than zero, then that means this will be evaluated first because of the parentheses and we can say that one greater than zero is true and then we take that true true and false will still give you a false so the result of this particular logical expression will give you a false so let's run that and you see that that's the false result here anything could be on the right operand as well so I can have a, a long relational expression 
and I can even combine these together. So I can also have true and true. So this is true and, and now we evaluate this because it's in parentheses. True and true will give you true. So this particular expression will give you true and the result of this will give you true. So that would give you true. So if we run that, that gives you true. Okay. Now when are these going to be useful? They're going to be useful again when you do your conditions or when you do loops. When you do loops, these are very, very important because you're going to be using expressions to dictate when you break out of the loop or when you stay in the loop using and or or. And or we'll go over on the next video. Okay. So that's it for now. If you have any questions, you can always contact me at parttimeadjunct.com. Send me an email, post a comment, subscribe to my channel. I will see you on the next video. Thanks.